welcome to gpet explorer in this lesson i will discuss about primary standards now chemicals used in titrimetric analysis can be categorized as primary standard and secondary standard now first primary standard these are compounds of sufficient purity and a solution of known strength can be prepared by weighing accurately so the primary standards are those compounds which are available in very pure form if a compound is available in very pure form then only we can weigh that compound accurately and by weighing accurately we can prepare or we can make a solution by using that compound whose strength is known thus a solution prepared by this way is known as primary standard solution sometimes we may call it as standard solution and this solution is usually used to standardize secondary standards now what are the requirements to be a good primary standard first thing that is it must be obtained in very pure form if a compound is obtained in very pure form then only we can weigh that compound accurately and by accurate weighing of that compound we can make a solution of known concentration next it should be easy to dry sometimes compounds may be available in pure form but we need to dry before using those compounds as primary standards and this requirement is not met by hydrated compounds hydrated compounds that means it have water molecules within its structure so it is difficult to remove surface moisture completely without affecting that water molecule so if that water molecule present within its crystal structure there is a chance of removing that water molecule so partial decomposition may occurs during weighing it should be unaltered that means the compound should not be hygroscopic or should not oxidized by air or should not affected by carbon dioxide and the compound should maintain an unchanged composition during storage next compound should have high relative molecular mass so that weighing errors may be negligible and we know if we have to weigh less amount of substance chances of error is much more rather if we have to weigh more amount higher amount of any substance 
chances of error is less. Next, it should be readily soluble under the conditions in which it is employed. If the compound is not readily soluble, then we will not know about to what extent the compound is solubilized in a particular solution and hence the concentration also will be unknown to us. Next, the reaction should be stoichiometric and practically instantaneous. So, to be a good primary standard, to be a primary standard, a compound should meet these criteria. Now, commonly used primary standards in various type of titrimetric analysis. First, acid-base reactions. Based on these reactions, titrimetric analysis that is acid-based titration and in acid-based titration compounds are commonly used as primary standards such as sodium carbonate, sodium tetraborate, potassium hydrogen phthalate, etc. Next, complex formation reaction and based on this reaction the titrimetric analysis that is complexometric titration and in complexometric titration pure metal such as zinc magnesium copper and salts depending upon the reaction are used as primary standard next precipitation reaction based on this reaction titrimetric analysis that is precipitation titration and in precipitation titration silver silver nitrate sodium chloride potassium chloride potassium bromides etc are used as primary standard next oxidation reduction reaction based on these reactions the titrimetric analysis that is oxidation reduction titration or simply we may call it redox titration the compounds generally used as primary standards are potassium dichromate potassium bromate potassium iodate arsenic trioxide etc one thing we should remember that in practice an ideal primary standard is difficult to obtain and we have to compromise the compound with ideal requirement basically we have to compromise with purity of the compounds because we know we cannot obtain a compound of 100% purity it is next to impossible so by compromising some parameters we have to select a compound which is almost meet those criteria and which can be used as primary standard another thing we should remember that hydrated salts as we talked earlier hydrated salts do not make a good standards this is because it is difficult to dry them efficiently but those compounds which do not efflorescence such as sodium tetraborate copper sulfate we can use these compounds as 
primary standard and those compounds which do not meet these requirements are known as secondary standards so by using secondary standard we cannot make a solution of known concentration by weighing so before using a secondary standard or if we if we have to know the concentration above of a secondary standard we have to standardize with a suitable primary standard and in so many times we have to use a compound to analyze others which is not a primary standard and before using that compound to analyze others we have to standardize with a suitable primary standards so these are all about primary standard thank you for watching this